Hi everyone. Here we go. We'll try another one today. I'm not feeling too bad at all. Not so bad. Okay. Uh, uh, not decided really, but let's see. Uh, well, we can always do something, can't we? We'll do a dark sky. We'll pick up some paint grey. Okay, not too strong. It's strong paint grey, very strong colour. We'll just put a little bit of a bit more in the and a bit of paint grey in the other palette. So I've got two palettes. With it. There we are. Paint grey in one, a little bit of burnt umber in yet in that paint grey with a bit of burnt. Just to give us that cloudy colour. Okay, you've got that. And away we go then, eh? Pick up a big brush. Going straight on dry, as quick as possible, because it's a bit warm this morning, so... There's a pain, it's great. So it's Luke Blue, that one, you... In a minute, you'll see. Now that... Brown, but let's put a bit of blue in that. It's not a bit too brown. Now, a nice dark cloud coming over. Now, let's take it straight across. Okay, now then, let's uh, you see how you dry it. If this paper is quick drying, let's get it get it going a bit faster. Just depends how drying. I've not tested it. It seems to be pretty drying, pretty quick, doesn't it? There we are. Okay. So why it's drying pretty quick? We have to be quick as well. Okay. Bit of ultramarine. That's it. Bit of ultramarine. Just uh, put it here and there, shall we? A bit stronger than that, now. There's your grey cloud. This is ultramarine cloud. Ultramarine patch. Breaking that cloud. Making them white edges to that cloud. Okay, back to a little bit of dark into that. A little bit of burnt sienna, probably something like that. Just in the dark. End. Now that's not much use, is it? So there we are. Let's see if we can get a dark and a white edge there. Okay. I'm going to pick up a little bit of raw sienna now. Just bring it into here. I, I'm not certain what I'm doing, but it'll be a late district scene with the mountain. Something you can all do easily enough. Okay. So let's. Uh, Warm it up towards the bottom here with a little bit of raw sienna. We'll have a wa warm, warm sky at the bottom here. Okay, now we'll get a smaller brush, pick up some ultimate, uh, uh, some cobalt, but this time just touch it on, your, on a piece of cloth. Dip right into your cobalt, touch it on a bit of cloth, don't get it too strong. Let's just touch in a little tiny bits. There we are. Peep it through. That um, bit of dark grey cloud there has turned it into a different colour, which, which doesn't matter at all. On this paper, I think, looking at it, I think it's uh, 200 bucking food because it seems pretty thick. I just buy paper and just put it on one side and just pick it up and use it. I don't think much about what's uh, what the paper is, I just do it really. Just take that little bit of colour out right of it. And I'll just add a little bit of the paint grey and burnt tomba. I'll just have a, a little cloud coming up here, a dark cloud for a change coming up. Because I'm going to put a couple of mountains just here. 
so that'll do and the better just warm it up a bit more here just fade it out a bit more ok so we can have a, a run, run across like that ok that'll be ok then now what I can do now will bring some green 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 fields in at this bottom half here so the, we know what we're doing we're taking up some cad yellow so a bit of Prussian and a little bit of bird sienna this time make it on a warmy green a nice warm dirty coloured green like that see There we are. Just put it right across like that. Slap it on. But time mix enough to do it. And then what you can do, just let it set it a little bit, start to set a little bit. And when it starts drying up a little bit, could touch in some other colour but not yet I'm just doing this to to just get it somewhere right level doesn't need to be too level there we are that's okay for now isn't it right there we are see the cloud shapes as it's drying now they're looking better now then our next stage let's uh, we're going to put a mountain in at the back. Now that mountain, it's the colour is important. It's uh, we're going to take a blue. You can take a cobalt if you like, a bit of a cobalt, mix it like that. There's your cobalt. Then we must add some light red to that. We'll see a little bit of light red. Okay, so we'll see it's changing to a grey colour. Okay, more light, light red. Now then, just to we'll take a little bit of ultramarine in that corner. See, now it's just a bit of colour in there, but what we'll do, try a little bit more light red. And also, this is a little bit of crimson now. They, they don't recommend just a little bit like that. Watch. Okay, now let's just get this colour on. This, this mountain here, so. We'll have it coming up here, just through that blue patch. Or we'll take it up there. And down there like that. Don't have it too pointed up. Don't have it too pointed. Okay, now get uh, mix a little bit of your blue in it if you want. What the, from that top corner. Okay that. Now we can strengthen it a little bit now. Watch, just strengthen it a little bit with a little bit more blue and a little bit more crimson to that. And we'll just strengthen it in places and just leave it like that for the minute. You, s you must realize it's going to go a lot lighter and allow for this and then again you need that contrast just at the back so now we're going to bring in some low clouds coming across here that's all there we are like that now that's just okay for now now then we'll put another mountain just here now. This will be a little bit warmer. If you like to that blue you've just been using there. Look at this um and this is granulating us a bit. It's this paper. What did I say it was a 200 bucking for? Doesn't matter. Um I'm not too much into granulating, although I do like a rough paper, but not too rough. And not paper. I don't want a flat paper. Um, We'll just add a little bit of a light red to that, eh? 
Oh, well, let's see though, this one, it's a bit farther away, say. Now we'll just add a little bit of raw sienna to that, shall we? Let's have a little bit of raw sienna to it. I like that. Keep it jagged, uh, not too jagged, but give it a shake. Now, let's just take a little bit of ultramarine. And just give a little bit of shadow on side. Now, back we go to here. The clean brush. using clean water and a clean brush, well, clean as you can get it. I'm going across the lava. Okay. And that simple little thing like this. But there you are. You can do this, can't you? Uh, let's see now. Uh, what would we do next? Uh, we can have a little cottage there. And a few trees around it. I'll tell you what, let's get some burnt burnt umber and a little bit of um, cad yellow in it and a little bit of ultramarine in it. So we'll get a rather stronger colour for a shade from that cloud there into this area here. Oh yeah. Now this shade, cloud shade. Okay, I'm doing it just like that. Yeah, but watch. I'm going to dry my brush out, and I'm going to just ease it off along the top of it, like this. Roughly, you see, I'm not using no, nothing special. Look at the status brush. <laughs> yeah. Like that. Now then, let's take some more stronger colour. And, uh, yeah, just have some. There we are. A bit of umber, strong, and a bit of ultramarine. See if we can just get a little bit of. No, not too strong, not that strong. Now don't worry about this at just at this moment. Uh, in this this wet damp patch I'm using. Okay, now that's okay for now. And I'm going to take a bit of burnt sienna with that, with that brown, burnt umber, burnt sienna, but make it a ready cast. And I'm just going to test if it's dry enough just here. It's not quite dry just a minute. OK, we're carrying on now with that bur a bit of burnt umber, which uh, burnt umber and a bit of raw sienna in it. We'll just check up what colour we can get in this. And these are a few trees in that, there at that spot. There we are. A bit more sienna will not do any harm in that colour. So it's a little bit readier. Like that. And just coming in here, put a little bit of blue in it, like that, I'm saying. Now then, just bring this in in front of it, like that. And I'll pick up a little bit of that more or less. Add a bit of to that CN and brown we just add, add a bit of blue. We'll add a bit of cobalt and it'll turn it to a dirty colour. Now let's just think about this. Just put let's think what we're doing. 
bit of red in it. Try and increase the speed a little bit. Go on, we'll have that roof coming like that. bit of blue with it and just do some, uh, just a minute just some trees here trouble is when you get it on a video it doesn't look very clear does it so I'm darkening it more than I would usually do because if you you came here and you were looking at this it would it wouldn't be the same it wouldn't quite be the same. Now a little bit of blue with that, I think. Again, get some dark into it. Just a little bit far away, isn't it? Now I'll tell you what. Let's get some. Let's put a tree there. Just like all about a tree like that. Just to the back. Okay. Needs a little bit of darks in it, doesn't it? Same with that. Okay, let's see. Oh, I think myself. Tell you what, I'll change that to a different type of tree. You, I don't think we'd have that tree there and that one. I still have it as a, a popular tree. This would be a bit popular, wouldn't it? More well, as a popular tree than like that. These are like oak trees, or oh, elm tree types, which come over like, but this, this is that. Okay, that's looking okay there. There we are. Nothing there. That's it. Right, let's have another look at this here. Just have a few. Would be finer than that. Okay, now then. I know another thing I noticed in, in in a video like this I'm doing, you don't see the darks as as as, as much as you, usual. Uh, so the tree this time I'm, I'm going to put these three three trunks in here a bit stronger than usual, and we're going to use a real dark. So they'll show. I don't know how it's how it's doing this time. This video I've had problems. Getting it to look clear. You know, I don't know, just have a few problems with that. 
then again if you have it thick like this it's showing that it's not uh, it's not flowing in all directions the same is it I see that this is a different tree so it's, it, you're not going to do it the same with the same branches on there so just to okay Okay, now that's going okay for me. There we are. That's it. Okay, I like that one. I'm sorry I'm being so quiet today, I'm tired. So there's not a lot in this, so you see you can do these things without much thought. If you've not much, you know, oh you don't know what to do, you'll find something. I always think, well I could do a, do a, do a little village, a little scene somewhere. Mind you, I suppose if you're living in a, a large town and you don't have these, uh, these areas like the lakes we have here. You know, it's uh, probably it's different S imagining the things, I don't know. What do you think? Could it be? It's just imagination, isn't it, really? So, you can even have a, a tree or another shadow just here, a shade. Just take it out. And I think I'm going to leave you with that. Simple. Not a lot in it. Just just so you can have a go. See that there, the white at the back if you want. If you did that there. The next time you do one, this, can you see? You can make that white part, there, a lake at the back going across. Wouldn't that be a nice scene? So there you are. Now let's see what we can, what it looks like if we've got this old, this the old thing on top of it here. What do you think? There's something out of nothing for you today, but it's a quick loose painting, something out of nothing. Maybe it's, you could do something like this, have a go. Especially the ladies out there who are so nice to me thank you all so much I don't get nervous <laughs> when I do get nervous it's, it's nothing to do with being in front of people I could be in front of a thousand millions it would just, I never, when I'm painting I never think about who's watching 
and I don't paint, I paint for myself more than anything. But I only like to explain to you how these things can be done so easy, so simple.